Hey there, folks. This is Matthew and Pemba, the creator of the webcomic series Matt and Zoop. Head over to that website to check out some of my cartoon work and many more things to follow. Uh, I want to talk to you guys today about Lumberjanes and the fact that it is getting an HBO Max release real soon. Stay tuned. Lumberjanes. You've either heard of it or you've actually seen it before, or you've read it already. Lumberjanes was a comic book series that was created by Shannon Waters, Grace Ellis, Brooklyn A. Allen, and Noelle Stevenson, who we all know is the showrunner uh, for the uh, creation of the She-Ra and the Princess of Power studio, uh, show. Uh, this was created by Boom Studios. It is an action comedy drama and a coming-of-age story that was developed in 2014 and I believe ended just in 2020. Uh, of course, during the pandemic times. <laughs> Uh, the story follows a group of girls named Mal, Ripley, Molly, and April, and Joe spending summer at a, uh, at a scout camp, and the strange creatures and supernatural phenomenon they encountered there. Originally, this was planned as an eight-part series, but the comic was uh, made as an ongoing series to follow some strong sales and actually critically acclaimed, which is very impressive for uh, just a, uh, just a uh, comic book series that's going out that way, so this did very well. Uh, but believe it or not, Lumberjanes uh, and HB, uh, the creator of Lumberjanes Janes and HBO Max are now developing a movie. Now it's going to be a movie and then right after they're done with the movie they're going to actually be making a full series for this. So that's going to be really great to watch. Uh, so the main cast has a lot of different it, it's kind of like a combination of we all know Noelle Stevenson so she's not going to go out without just you know not showing any different forms of sexualities, nationalities all the exciting things that we want to see in a show that's kind of uh, bringing to the forefront. Uh, so let's start off. So Joe is uh, one of the main characters. She's a trans girl who is a Navajo. Uh, she uh, chose this name because it actually sounded like like the name of uh, an element on a periodic table. So it's kind of like that funny blend between her. Uh, Mal Yu, uh, she's a tough exterior. She has many, many fears, however. Uh, she kind of hides that behind that. Um, but despite this, she's a very adaptive constructing uh, st uh, strategist, and she helps the team get to where they need to be. Um, unfortunately, uh, her plans actually don't really work out in the series. If you ever read it, you can kind of see that. Uh, Mal is a lesbian and is actually dating Molly in the series. April uh, is a headstrong girl. She's a little preppy. She's kind of like those characters that you see from the original, uh, from old shows or something. That's kind of like you know they're the they're the ones who are. Um Kind of like they, they don't really like they, they like the rest of the group they want to be accepted uh, kind of like in Gravity Falls uh, the the young girl who's just like she doesn't want to be involved even though she's kind of like you know a, a, like lonely and stuff so it's kind of like that type of thing that's what April kind of gives off that vibe for me uh, Ripley O uh, Shanasi is an energetic one uh, she always finds herself to get into a heat patrol she's the one who kind of jumps head first even if she's gonna land directly on her face that's that's one that's kind of like me I would do that all the time. Uh, Molly, who we mentioned before, uh, is dating Mal Yu. Uh, she's incredibly intelligent. She's actually the one who solved most of the puzzles for the group. Uh, she's, you know, very, very useful for the series, and she helps them get to where they need to be. Uh, for those who are kind of unfamiliar, I'm going to give a little more in-depth detail about the series because I really think that you guys should read it if you haven't, or if you have read it, you, you definitely got something special. Uh, so it follows five Lumberjane Scouts at Miss Quinzella, uh, Thisquin, Penelope Quinnell, uh, Thistle, uh, Crumpets Camp. Now that, <laughs> that's a mouthful for sure. Uh, it's for hardcore lady types who find themselves battling supernatural fo forces at their camp over the course of the summer. Uh, so each issue actually ends with a track listening for a mixtape created by one of the principal characters. Now that kind of bleeds into more and more episodes that you get to see. Um, so as for the series that's going to be put out by HBO Max, the series is going to be headed by the She-Ra and the Princess of Power showrunner, which we all know uh, uh, is Noelle Stevenson, and HBO has secured a script to series order, which means that we will see a show directly after the movie, um, of course, following how well the series does, but just seeing how well the series is doing just in book format is really going to, I believe, transition very well over to um, the HBO Max, and I think they're going to do very well, especially since HBO Max has been really dishing out some amazing stuff. 
And not just that too, but there's a big following for a lot of the things that Noel Stevenson has done and the other creators that are part of the series. And Boom Studios is a big comic book, um, big comic book publisher, and I think that they're really going to have a lot of oomph in what's going on here. So ultimately, I think this series is going to do very well for itself. Uh, I want to hear from you guys though, what you guys think of the Lumberjane show. Maybe you like it, maybe you don't. Uh, I'd like you to like, follow if you want to hear more about any, uh, things going on in the animation industry uh, but if you have any comments concerns or anything like that let me know I want to know your take on all of this uh, anyway you guys have a great day and stay tuned